Hello. I don't know how well the audio transitions to because of the way that I do the, the start screens now. It has been quite a while. Alright, what are we seeing? Weighted blankets are nice. Alright, we're about to see. Google turns the volume on max and has the phone automatically ring when I ask it to find my phone. What I have to be Google so many What are you beating up and down? That's for Yeah, no, but like does it just turn on or does it fade in the um, game when I did the thing? Like, like if I do this, right? Obviously, you hear the title screen. But if I do this, you don't hear it anymore. Does it just cut out and back in or does it fade? I, I read Hey Google. And enemy, intro you heard fading. Okay, so it does fade. Okay. Oh, we're gonna wait for the ad break. We gonna wait, wait for the ad break. You think you hear outro fade? Get up, stop saying that. Fucking. And yep. Here, I'll, I'll play it a few more times so that you know. And I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I'll just let it do its thing. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you have me on speaker? Oh. That's e Oh, I could be very evil right now. I won't. I won't. But I could. Alright, is the ad over? No. Ad break still has 10 seconds on my end. Four, three, two, one. Your community is back. Okay, let's see this. Your AC is on and you're fixing your bed. Okay. So Kim got me whatever this is. And I have no idea what this is. Before another, the next ad isn't for another half an hour. Don't worry, I'm being careful. The side with your address is facing me. I thought about that. This is not my first time opening something on camera. Trust me, I do it a lot. <laughs> I considered ignoring your requests and opening it on the vlog instead of a stream, but I was like, you know what? No. Let me do it the way she wanted because the, um, Uh, I don't know when the blog is going to get caught up. Alright, I'm going to stick my hand in and I feel a fabric. What the fuck was that knife? That was my work knife. This is the knife that I bring to work every day. Anyway, I feel fabric. No. Is this? Oh my god. It's a little... little shopping bag featuring the queens. I love it. This is so cute. And there's something in here. And I don't know what that something is. Oh, it's more stuff. Oh my god. So, wait. Hang on. I thought you were getting this shit for yourself. Oh, oh this is so cute. This is so cute. This is a little, like, thing to put over your Switch dock.
you got some other stuff. I think. This is a little, like, acrylic thing with a stand featuring the three wives. I love it. Yeah, it wasn't cursed. What are what is this? Are these stickers or something? It's the same little chibi versions of the queens that are on the bag. And then this is very fucking adorable. I love it so much. Thank you, Kim. You didn't need to do that. Oh, I didn't even notice the Nia on here. <laughs> the little folder thing containing it all. That's awesome. Thank you, Kim. Now I'm going to pack this all back in here. Because it is currently covering my desk, and I need it to not be actively covering my desk. Honestly, when you said open it on stream, I got genuinely scared that it was uh, the cosplay that we joked about. <laughs> you are the best gift giver, cursed or not. I, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I, I can agree with that. Alright, you're gonna sit over there. I'm gonna grab my drink. And we're gonna get started. And Nikhil, you can go watch your Hollow Live. <laughs> I like how he didn't even acknowledge the fact that I called him out. So I have a little short story to tell about these Gatorades here. The, um, this flavor, Glacier Freeze, the light blue one. I'm, it's not my favorite. But hold on, what? Huh? Hey, did you guys hear something? Okay, you're back. Okay. So, so, this Glacier Freeze, the light blue Gatorade, it's not my favorite. I don't dislike it, but it is far from my first choice. Um, every but every time we put in to Instacart hmm. for the, like... Ah, you're back. Happy birthday! My birthday is not until November, but thank you. Um, every time we put in for, like, the, the white clear... Um, Gatorade, they give us that in, if it's not in stock, and I hate it because you're impatient. It was for your birthday. Okay, that makes more sense. Even though we say, just give us the refund, they'll still sometimes uh, send us the wrong fucking flavor here. And so, I ended up with a full set of eight of them that I've had to drink because... Yeah. No teaching requests right now. Oh. What, what do I have to do for teaches things? Oh, do... oh. Hmm. After all it took to get our rank to iron, our flame clock glows and bites the dust. Uh, we have to believe in Commander Teach and Mio. With them at the helm, we'll get through this, surely. Yeah. Interesting news. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Discuss. Oh, that's right. Okay, I remember now. So let's do trusting teach real quick. So, can we talk? 
Tyon, you used to belong to the cab Colony Lambda originally, are you right? Yes, I was reassigned to Gamma. You all know the story by now, I'd lost my way, but Commander Teach personally welcomed me in. Well, Teach did, huh? Under normal circumstances, you have to indicate a clear reason for transferring, but he didn't ask me a thing. Back to it now, I suppose Commander Easter must have put it in a word for me. Senna and I came to Gamma at just about the same time, then we got put in the same unit. Ooh, so you guys have been together all the way since then. Yes, isn't it strange? If tragedy hadn't struck the way that it did, I never would have met Mio and Senna. Who are you guys? Are you saying that everything happened for a reason? I don't know if I'd go that far, but certainly that outlook would make it easier to stay optimistic as we go on. Nice. Right. Tutor tie on. Shall we put our heads together on this? So, Noah, did anybody request you as a teacher? Nope. Uh, probably a bit wary of us. No surprises there, huh? Still, it's kind of depressing. <sighs> Noah, a word. What? Uh, yeah, go on. They asked if I'd teach too, but I'm not confident to do it alone. Appreciate your help, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, no problem. I'll do whatever I can. Go on, I'll give you a hand too, mate. That's okay. Noah's all I need. Oh, come on. The more the merrier, am I right? I'll only be teaching theory, so you know what I'm getting at. Ah, gotcha. Yeah... Hey, what are you getting at? Are you calling me stupid? I didn't say that. But do you even want to be involved? Ugh. Well, if I was there, Noah wouldn't get his time to shine, so... Out of the pure goodness of my heart, I'll let him have this one. Knock him dead, Noah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Get yourself ready, and I'll see you in the Colony Square, if that's okay. Yeah, sounds good. See you there, Tyon. Shots fired. <laughs> Break time's over. Talk to Zakir, Mina, or Shun. All under control. Might as well, yeah. Hey, Mio, what kind of person is the commander? I did think you'd be the ones who asked for me as a teacher. What gave us away? You've always been so enthusiastic about asking me things. Well, yeah, I respect you pretty highly as a strategist. I thought you'd have some good lessons to teach, so maybe it was presumptuous of me, but yes, I put you forward for it. I'm just a little puzzled. I don't remember asking for this Kavesi. Oh, I, uh... I'm the one who asked him. He's gonna assist me in teaching. So, today's lesson will consist of several problems you'll be expected to solve. I want to gauge your understanding of basic tactics and situational awareness. Uh, tutor tie on, because I don't remember the answers. <laughs> no objections to your plan here. But I do have a problem with that guy being involved in the teaching. I see. And what do you two think? As a member of Captain Zakir's team, I'll abide by his decision. I, I, well... I agree with them, Mina. I'm not going to go against Commander Teach on this. I just don't think I have enough information to judge whether Kevez is trustworthy. That's the truth. Someone who intends to be the next commander, it's kind of my job to look into these things. That would be a big job. So, what's to be done now? Look, how about if I answer Tyon's questions as well, then? Huh? Wait, why, though? Well, you know, it's always easier to solve something like this with a straightforward contest, right? That makes no sense at all. Doesn't make a difference to me, Tyon. So you're okay with this? At least a better way to end it than each prodding at the other to test their nerve, wasting time. Better to have a contest with a clear winner and loser. Very confident of you. Suits me just fine. Whatever then. But just don't forget that we're all here to learn, okay? Let, let me get permission to use the War Council area. That would be appreciated. We'll meet later then. Agreed. Later. <laughs> Listen! Shut up. <laughs> Fucking cheating. I have a bad memory, you know this.
War Council area. Here you are. Then, shall we start with some combat-related problems? Yeah, let's go. Which attacks weaken the enemy? Debuffs. What happens when some enemy to some enemies when they're in trouble? Uh, they get enraged. Which one of these is not a benefit of inflicting days? Always attacks always hit. All allies recover HP. Normal arts will not accumulate aggro. I believe it's all allies. Yeah, it's all allies recover HP is not a benefit. Which of these combo rats is wrong? Break topple launch smash. Break topple days burst. <laughs> Break topple days big eyeling charms. <laughs> Whose role is it to attract the enemy's attention? Defender. I remembered more of that first set than I thought. But all of them were like basic questions. That's all the combat questions I got. Let's take a quick break. <sighs> Looks like you're having some trouble. Don't let it get you down. No need to worry about me. My score will show you. I'm sure. Don't look so much like you're going to skip out in the middle of the ride. No fear. I'll see you through to the end. What's up next, Sion? Next is questions related to situational awareness. This is vital for battle. Absolutely. No gaps in my knowledge. Maybe I'll study up just to be safe. We have some new names registered. Alright, I would have like a 50% pass rate if I did the second set without the ability to check for answers. I just like read through them. Like, yeah. Which equipment is exclusive to Gavesi soldiers? Power frames. Where did Colony Sigma and Colony 9 fight? Ever Blight Plain. In which statement about the flame clocks in the iris is correct? In Keva's, it's the right eye. Agnes, the left. What is the name of the desert in the Fornus region? The Dana Desert. What does Black Fog cause? Annihilation events. Let's see how you both measure up. Fortunately, Team Zakir falls just short of a perfect score. Oh, what? Snuff this! Noah, I have no comments. Full marks. What?! Get in. Looks like I'm gonna have to reconsider my opinion of you. I absolutely want you to teach this stuff to them. To whom? Kyrie and Foots. They're not good at sitting quietly. They need to learn more about combat situations that they can't just brute force their way out of, or leave to chance. Their carelessness will tarnish, will tarnish Commander Teach's good name. When it comes to Foots, since peacetime hasn't had any respect for when it comes to foots since peacetime he hasn't had any respect for commander teach which is why he'll never be a platoon leader like here isn't there something you should be saying before all this right yeah sorry you're right mina noah isn't it yeah i lost this one and i accept your victory gracefully but if i can be frank i can't just immediately start trusting you captain zakir i was gonna lie about that I would never have accepted this challenge in the first place. You may feel I'm not holding up my part of the bargain. This is just how I feel. I won't apologize for it. You know, though, I'm actually glad you came straight out and said it. You're optimistic, aren't you? I think what we need is to compromise, bit by bit. Whatever form that takes, whether it's playing games like this, or being honest about our feelings, or whatever. The important thing is that we come to know each other. You get my drift? Getting to know each other. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to help. Th that's why I'm wearing this armor of... <laughs> fucking Mobius. <laughs> that's the truth. I just want you to know. You know that whatever you say, it's not going to make me any more able to trust you. But I do understand. This is what Commander Teach is hoping for too, isn't it? Well... 
Anyway, if you want to teach here, then I want you to face the students with the appropriate, the appropriate sense of responsibility. So keep that in mind, and you might earn my respect too. I will. Thank you, Zakir. As long as you understand. <laughs> Quest complete! Noah won against Zakir, but the result isn't what matters. It's what's learned along the way. Keep up the good work to win the newbie's trust. Draw up the rotor for guard duty. Tutors, Senna and Uni. Uni, a teaching assignment's come in for us. Yeah, it looks like it. Although I'm shocked they even wanted me. You're a lot easier to approach than me or Lance. Even in Colony 9, all the youngins loved you. Hate to say it, but you're just a surprisingly caring person. To ashes with your surprisingly. Ugh. So what idiots have asked for us? Uh, yeah, um, about that. You were asked by... or by Foots's squad. You're a strong team, skilled in battle, mainly attackers and defenders. Mm, they enjoy fighting a bit too much, but they're pretty exceptional soldiers. Their Captain Foots in particular. Ooh, that don't sound too bad. A bunch of hot-blooded newbies. Don't take them lightly, Uni. Uh, I missed that. Oops. That's my bad. Uh, probably? Yeah, this is the one. Especially me, I have no idea why. Oops, sounds like they don't take you seriously. Sounds to me like we've got ourselves a prime opportunity. This is me trying to do too much. No, it does not. Uh, we can knock this attitude out of their heads while we whip them into shape. I don't think whipping is called for. Right? No, it does not. Just need to show them we're on a totally different level to them. That'll keep them from mouthing off, yeah? Oh! Yeah, that makes sense. Then let's whip them good. Then it's settled. Looks like we got some rookies to teach. Oh, yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, you know these are just new recruits you're talking about, right? Don't break them. Whip them real good. Have some fun with it. Everyone got their strength back. Ah, that's making me hungry. Should have known that this one was going to be easy, and not have to look anything up. Wow, has she finally shown up? Looks that way. Can you both just not... Sorry, Senna. These guys were raised by Ferris's. Oh, um, no need to apologize, Isora. Right, Senna's the one who made us wait, after all. That she did. Okay, th that's enough! Looks like someone's in need of a little discipline, right, Senna? Right. Yes, exactly. No time like the present, hey, loves? Mock battle time. Time for some hard weightlifting. What? Huh? Hey, what happened to whipping them good? Mock battle's the best whip there is. Is it, though? This is totally weightlifting's time to shine. You wanna pump iron? So what, we just sit this one out? We can all do it with them, right? We gotta show them we're on a different level. That ain't what I had in mind. Guys, don't fight. You all want to do some strength training, right? Everyone wants to get strong. Yeah, no, mock battle it is. I'm going to teach you runs to fight. Look at Tyon. He's like, this is so dumb. Why am I even here? I didn't sign up for this. <sighs> mock battle sounds fine. Wait just a second. Did you psh at me? You must have imagined it. All in your head. See, I strength train every day. Honestly, I wanted to prove myself against you. Take on a real-life Kvesi soldier. What he said. I wouldn't put it like that, but I think it'd be a good experience. 
Oh man, you too, Yasora. The majority has spoken. These little scamps are all full of beans, so a good mock battle is perfect to wear him out. Uh... I hate that phrase. Full of beans. Wow, looks like the Kefesi understands us better than even the illustrious Senna does. So let's show her how tough we are. We'll be waiting for you in the training ground. Don't run away in terror, yeah? <laughs> Quit yapping and get yourselves ready. Ah, uh, they don't respect me at all. We have some new names registered. Are you full of beans, Kim? Don't try any funny business, like letting us win or whatever. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. You'll regret taking me on. Look at that, she gets it. Then let's begin. What is my party comp? I don't even know who I'm targeting. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're full of dumplings, you're being so mean. Yeah, I'm like 40 levels above them almost. <laughs> to be fair, this quest opened up in like chapter 3. We're in the final chapter, chapter 7. <laughs> Ow. Th they're too strong. <laughs> I love it. This, this is the exact thing I wanted. Ooh, you look like you want to go another round. That's right, not gonna let you take your win and go. Ooh, it's all kicking off now. Bring it. You know what, I'm not even gonna touch my controller for this one. I didn't touch the controller and the AIs got the, the burst. I can't. <laughs> just, just so you know, this is what the final boss is going to be like. Because y'all fuckers paid for all side quests. Just saying. I need a break. Yusora! Yusora, are you okay? Yusora! Ow, Nagamo, you'll shatter my eardrums. Watch, Yusora, I'll avenge you! Oh my goodness, he's still going? Does he scare you? Bad habit for someone your term. Hey, you can't say that! One more round, Nagamo, you up for it? Oh yeah, I'll beat you back, black and blue! Oh my god, these assholes. Who? Who, Nagamo? No, I don't think so. I mean, it'd be silly if he did. Or maybe he did. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm still, like, ridiculously overleveled. Enough for you! <laughs> We're in trouble, Nagamo. You're amazing. Was it Nagamo? We're giving everything they had. But this lot are in a different league. 
Ah, uh, you lot ain't so bad. And you've got nerve. Yeah, we do. I can't stand it. You still look so fresh. You look so fresh. You look so fresh. Miss Uni. Feel free to challenge me anytime, though. As long as you don't mind losing. <laughs> That's some big talk. In that case, I'm happy to keep challenging you. I look forward to seeing your face when we beat you. Sound good to you, Miss Uni? Miss Uni? Oh, and Senna, you better be ready too. Yeah, be prepared, Senna. Why don't I get a nice title? But I'll let it slide for today. I'm knackered. Completely ignored. N no, you don't get to decide when the lesson's over. This is where it really begins. Uh, what? You've shown you want to get stronger, so let's have a little strength training competition. Strength training? You know, actually, I'm done for. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water and water and water, water and 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 water Water, water. I, I told Amber before I started stream, you know, if Cloud shows up, he's going to be mad that I didn't tell him. But at the same time, I didn't even know if I was going to stream today. And I can't expect him to adjust his sleep schedule for around the possibility of me streaming. You want to beat us, don't you? Then strength training is the only way. Now you're all done warming up, you should be in tip-top condition. It has to be now. You have to train. It's the only way. Train your muscles. Is she serious? This is what I mean when I say you two are too cocky. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, do your best. I'll be cheering you on from here. Hey, you're going to join too, right? Miss Uni. Uni got to know the newbies in a mock battle, while Senna put them through unforgiving weight training. But the squad training was concluded. So Alright, let's see, are there any new teaching listings? Hey, teach. Let me talk to- Get- Bitch! You might have a few doubts about teaching to start with. Just try to be yourselves and act natural. Pay attention to the newbies. Their sincerity and pure hearts will open up your hearts in return. Please, do what you can to mend the divide between Agnes and Kevis. Anything new? A lesson in off-seeing. Teacher, Noah. Student, Team Zakir, Shun. Tutor, Offseer. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Listen. Let's lay out the facts. I cannot expect you to adjust your sleep schedule to my stream schedule. Or lack thereof. Hey, Lance, listen to this. I've been asked to teach as well. What? No snuffing way. Quest came from Shun, from Zakir's team. She's one of the new rec recruits that Tyon taught the other day. See, so that's how it is, huh? Did she take a shine into you then? Maybe? I don't know. I don't really recall talking to her much. She's an officer like us, so maybe she's. So maybe that's why she's curious about meeting a Kavesi one. Ah, that makes sense. But in that case, I wonder what I should teach her. Man, I wish I could have been one of Tyon's teaching assistants too. Oh, well, that's right. You're now the only. You're now the only one of us Kavesi who hasn't been requested by anyone, lads. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, no, old buddy, old pal, how would I help you out this time? Good grief. You don't need to rush. I'm sure someone will ask for you eventually. Thanks, Mio. Don't lose hope, Lance. <sighs> well, if you need my help, Noah, I'll be around, just loafing about like a tool. 
Oh, uh, yeah, just let me know. Sure, I'll do that. I suppose I should find Shun now. Yeah, but they're talking specifically of the Kavezis. I'm all refreshed and ready to take on the world. You are not who I was trying to talk to. I already keep you waiting. Oh. No, it's no bother. Dude, I have told you that I could go to sleep early if I have to, not even a DM. Listen. I... Like I said, I wasn't even sure that I was going to stream today. Uh, and who might you be? I have no business with you, but there's nothing wrong with me being here, right? I won't get in your way. All right then. I suppose I don't mind. Could have given the five-minute alarm. Oh, please. I I'm also okay with it, if you really want to, Zuno. Oh, he's jealous! Okay, guess he doesn't quite trust me yet. Doesn't seem like someone Shun would be partners with, but not my business, probably. Let's jump right into it, then. Uh, um, wait. Oh, uh, yes? S sorry for interrupting. No, it's okay. What were you gonna say? It's just, uh, you're a Kavezi Offseer, aren't you? That's right. And you're an Offseer, too, or so I've heard. Yes, but I, uh, don't really know how to send someone off properly. I play my flute, but I get the feeling that's not all I should be doing, so... Hmm... I'm sorry, Hill. What am I on about? No, I wasn't judging you. I can kind of understand how you feel. Oh, really? But... Uh, I know. Why don't we step outside the colony for a little while? Inside? I'm sure I saw a body of water in the mountains not too far from here. You mean... Cooley Pool? Um, could you wait a bit? I need to ask permission to leave the colony. You want to come too? Uh, sorry, I've forgotten your name? You know, sure I'll come. Please just pretend like I'm not even there. I've got permission to go. Alright, we'll start the lesson there. Hope you find it helpful. Uh, okay, thank you. Alright, let's head. A teacher was like five feet away and you called his cell phone. <laughs> Fucking lazy shithead. building I've never seen before just popped into existence at Capricorn Peak. You serious? I'd love to get a closer look, but I don't think we could climb up to it from here. A roundabout journey. Like a what do you mean they didn't see him? He was five feet away. All you had to do was turn your head. Ice cream. Okay. My favorite flavor is vanilla. No, wait, that's bullshit. I don't know why that was the one I thought of it. In reality, the answer is chocolate chip and mint. So it is the one that I will buy a mint. Mm. The... Mm, not proud of that one. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know. Again, I don't know why vanilla was the first flavor I thought of. Oh, because vanilla is my favorite iced coffee, and I was having a conversation about iced coffee a few minutes ago, like before I started stream. Now that Colony Gamma has been liberate, liberated from its flame clock, you no longer need to fight for its sake. 
But I think the work us softseers do will remain unchanged, no matter what. I love the fact that it, like, kept track of where in the story I was, so that Noah had the right flute. I wonder, what were these people thinking? They realized they were dying. I wonder if they wanted to carry on living. Or if they were relieved that it meant they didn't have to fight anymore. Might be neither of those things. It could be something completely different. I feel like I have no idea what to do. I want to empathize with them. It feels like my melody just rings hollow. The more people I send off, the emptier I feel inside. That's how you feel, and it's how you feel. No one can argue with that. I'm so sorry, I feel like I barely understand anything at all. June. It's alright. We'll take it slow. Feel anything else at any point, just let me know, okay? What's up, Kim? It's raining. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Trust me, Kim, I noticed it. I didn't want to draw to attention to it. I know. I always used to feel like a proper send-off before. Never had deaths like this when Meeklin was still around. Ah, right. Hacking and Officer just play in pairs, don't they? Yes, Meeklin was my partner. He went to fight in Alfetto Valley, though. Since then, he... Ah, I see. I guess I'll have to be an officer on my own from now on. Just the thought of that makes my mind go blank. Like, I don't get what the point is, any of it. I never gave off seeing a proper thought to begin with. Just left it all to Meeklin to take care of. I don't know if this will alleviate your worries or not, but... How about rather than thinking about how you should send them off, Try thinking about how you want to do it. How I want to do it? That's a big frown. Huh? You're thinking too hard. Oh, am I? Don't panic. We're in no hurry. Just do whatever you think is right. Where do you... I see some relations have changed. Is there... Oh, that's why. Wait, I haven't gotten this one? Alright, hang on. I want to fight the idiots. Damn, that only gave me one. Oh, that's because that wasn't a new one. I thought it was, because... Okay. I should have checked the minimap. My bad. Excuse you! Oh, Noah's a healer. I forgot that Noah's a healer.
All right, let's try that again. The lights float away. Overflow from the body, like they've been set free from everything. It looks so beautiful. I want to help these beautiful lights. I want to lead their dance into the sky, sparkling way up high. The only reason Noah remember where the corpses is, is because he made them. Ooh. Ah, uh, hmm. I don't think Mr. Let's Try Not to Kill Anyone is going to be, like, making corpses. The melody you played with your partner was inside you all along. All that was left was to trust in yourself. I'm certain that's the key to unlocking your own unique way of off-seeing. Thank you so much. I'll... I'll always treasure what you've said to me today, Noah. I must offer my apologies. What? I wanted to be there so I can make sure if anything happened to Shun, you couldn't get away with it, but... I see, so that's why you came. You're a good friend, Zuno. Not really. I just thought if Shun got sad, Meeklin wouldn't have wanted that, is all. Thank you, Zuno. <laughs> no? The bodies themselves have never disappeared. With Noah's advice, Shun put the hesitation born from losing Meeklin behind her, much to Zuno's relief. Huh. Would you believe it? That is a quest-related event. The, um, people of the city, they disappear. But the, the husks, they don't. Namuki. Oh no, that's only at homecoming. Can we please talk later? I'm in, right in the middle of getting my research documents in order. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to bother you when you're so busy. Oh, wait a moment. You are Mr. Lance, correct? Mr. Lance? My name's Lance. Don't know if I need the Mr. I never would have imagined you would come to seek me out. Oh, my name is Namuki, by the way. I was actually thinking of requesting you for some mentoring. There's a guy called you? Good for him. Wait! <laughs> you mean me? You wanted me? Yes, I'd do anything for your help. Yeah, sure, I'll deal with it. I'm just glad you chose me. I'll get back to my documents now. I'll see you at training. Uh, okay, see you later then. Namuki. Always nice to see a new face. Camera. Stop being stupid. U uni, thank you. I'm just gonna lie here, and you can't stop me. Yes. Typically. Right then, strategy meeting. Hey, Sina, was there a little dude called Namuki among your little protégés? What kind of person is he, would you say? Huh? Why are you asking me about him all of a sudden? Why are you asking me about him all of a sudden? Well, you see, <laughs> you really want to know? Stop acting so cocky and answer the spocking question. I know, hold your ponios. Truth is, the little chap asked me to teach him. Finally, good for you, Lance. Yeah, it's time for me to step up to the plate and do my thing at last. Wow, he must have a few screws loose if he has a big weirdo like you for help. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, so I'll forget you just said that. Anyway, you asked about Namuki. How can I describe him? He always has excellent grades, and he never makes a mistake, whether in the classroom or on the battlefield. Hmm, you won't find him rushing headlong into battle like Futs or Nagamo. Why, a boy like Namuki would want tutoring from a brute like Lance somewhat of an enigma to me. 
Yeah, it is hard to tell what he's thinking sometimes. An inscrutable sort. Right? I have a little trouble with him, too. Come on, you lot. You call yourselves mentors? Shame on you! Uh, there's nothing more annoying than the sound of lands getting carried away. Well, it doesn't matter what he's like. What really matters is that I make sure he knows I'm a great role model that he could depend on. That's probably not the lesson he's looking for. So the corpses are just on the ground for hundreds of thousands of years. Never mind, the land is made from the bodies of the dead. Um, you're not far off. Right, let's get going. Time's wasted. I mean, you know the story of how the world's formed now. <laughs> the day has finally come. Hey, fella, teacher's here. I had to think about what kind of thing I should teach you. But I reckon we should get to know each other by talking with our fists first. Yes, actually, I've been thinking a lot, too. I've been wondering what's so different about us. Eh? And it doesn't matter that a few more is added. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> My god. I mean, the differences and similarities between you, Kavesi, and us Agnians. But the Kavesi are supposed to be our enemies. Which curiosity is taboo, an impossible dream, so to speak. Ah, you're all so veiled in mystery, I thought I'd lost all hope of learning about you. But now look, right before my very eyes, a living, breathing Kavesi! Uh-huh, that's me. For my first step, a test to unravel the mysteries of your kind. A, a test? What do you want about, mate? Come on, you. Aren't you curious, too? It's okay, just nod your head for yes. Let's get started, then. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Just pipe down a bit. Gotcha means understood, correct? Good to know. Huh? Hey, wait, where are you going? Oh, pardon me, my excitement must have run away with me. Please, follow me. I'll explain in more detail at the training ground. Oh, boy. What's wrong? Come quickly, I can barely wait to begin. Uh... See, he's a mystery, isn't he? Y yeah, no joking. Hey, wait a sec. It's not nice to judge people so quick, Santa. Maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength, but at least he asked me for help. That much I understand. I have to meet his expectations as his mentor, right? Yeah, I guess so. You can handle it, Lance. Absolutely, 100%. I'll handle this. Alright, what do we need? What do you want us to do? Eh, what are these guys doing here? I gathered Kyrie and company to help out with my test. Pleasure to meet you, sir, though I have no clue why we're here. <laughs> Understandable. Got a rough idea. Alright, if you're all prepared, I will ask you now to conduct the battle. Uh, the rules will be those of a mock battle. Please keep fighting until I say stop. Team Kyrie, please fight to the best of your abilities in order to test our senior colleague's true strength. C copy that. Of course, that means the opposing team should fight with equal fervor. Uh, okay. Are there any questions? I don't think so. Now please, take your positions. Both sides prepared? In that case, let the battle commence. Hold on, you. Aren't you joining in? Of course not. I need to observe and take notes. This is supposed to be your training. Don't worry, sir. Namuki is super smart. He's the prize advisor of my team. Don't worry, just trust what he says. Ah, Kyrie, you can always be relied upon for sound judgments. That's a leaderly quality. I see, so that's how it is, huh? Bah, might as well do this anyway. Get ready, you lot. You're going down. Some relationship well, changed. Uh -oh. Lance is a guinea pig, yup.
What about me, Abby? Oh, somebody Ouroboros. Wow, I'm shocked. This is taking too long, yeah. I mean, if you look at the little pop-up, when I defeat an enemy, there's like 26 enemies in this fight. And they're coming in waves. So, honest to god, the, uh... Um, chain attack would be a waste of time. Although maybe not, because like AoE stuff will still hit other enemies. I don't know. Okay, so Mio is Miyabi's class. Good to know. It kind of does. Alright, stop, please. Sheathe your blades. Whew, it's finally over. You satisfied now, Namuki? To be honest, I would have preferred longer, but I got the minimum data needed. I'll share my battle report later. I hope you'll find it useful for improving your skills. Thanks, Namuki. You're the best. Now, I would like to have a word in private with our seniors here, so please disband in a calm and orderly fashion. Nice work today, everyone. Yeah, see ya. Thank you for waiting, everyone. For you three, Kavesi, allow me to give a brief review of your battle performance. Yikes, here we go. You have a good balance of skills and are highly adaptable to emergent situations. Though I did not see any prominent abilities, your strength lies in having no major flaws. Do you really think so? I'm not a great judge of such things. You're excellent in, at utilizing, utilizing ether. No, rather, your body has a remarkably high affinity for ether. It's highly efficient at converting the ether flowing through it into your abilities, just like a high-performing circuit. Oh, huh? I also have the sense that those wings on your head hold some kind of secret that ties to this. If you could just give me one eensy feather. Nope. Okay then, I'll find out eventually though. Mr. Lance! Y yeah. Personally, I thought you were the most interesting of all. Just as your appearance suggests, you are by far the sturdiest of the group. Eh, well that's obvious, I like to push myself in my training. No, I mean, even regardless of training, I think your body was made to be strong and sturdy from the beginning. It's as if you were somehow built to be as solid as possible? Mostly, your body tissue seems to be quite a different sort of to Noah's or Uni's. Anyway, the three of you all have some clear differentiating features. So what exactly is he trying to say? You know what I know. I suppose neither of you have wings like me. I never really paid much attention to that. Yeah, exactly! We're all similar and different at the same time. Nobody really troubles themselves with that fact. Ignoring for the moment the question of this inconsistency, I still require samples to prove these differences conclusively. And so to begin, Mr. Lance, I will now conduct a full body inspection. Please strip. You can't just spring that on me. I don't mind though. I'll just go ahead and... 
Ow! That's nothing to hurt. What was that for? I should be asking you that. Why would you just strip right here in the open? Exactly, don't scare us like that. What? It's just taking off clothes. Nothing wrong with that. Of course it's wrong. Wait. Is it? Uh, I can't think of a reason? Why did you sock me one then? I don't know. Reflex, I guess? It, yeah, you just look like you need a good smack sometimes. What the snuff is with you two? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. What kind of response is that exactly? Is it limited only to Mr. Lands, or... Oh, I can't just stand here idling. I need to research for my next test. What? Hold on. Oi, come back! Oh, my apologies. My eagerness took a hold of me once again. I hope you will cooperate with me again soon, Mr. Lance. I expect great things from you. Oh? So you have an ecological nature. Okay, sure. You can count on me. Just let me know whenever you need me. Indeed. I predicted. I mean, hoped you might say that. Well then, that's all for me. Like what, Kim? Hear that, Noah? He expects great things from me. Yeah, I heard. Man, it's great being a mentor. K Kim, what do you mean? Kim? <laughs> Party took part in Nimuki's research. Despite teaching nothing, Lance seemed happy enough. <sighs> Are you telling me you want to strip, Kim? God, I got a lot of items. Then what the fuck? Extracurricular lesson. Teacher Mio. Student, lottery number 0020, Kyrie. Like what? I also said it was nothing. What? I'm so confused, Kim. I was confused as to why Mimi hadn't hasn't had any re teaching requests so far. But it turns out they're all pulling names out of a sparking hat to decide who gets to. Why would they do that? Well, it's not surprising. They all idolize you, especially Mio. Really? I'm not sure that's true. Yes, it is, Mimi. The cure probably turned it into a lottery to make sure things didn't get out of hand. It'd be no laughing matter if a brawl broke out over who gets to be taught by you. You're exaggerating there, Tyon. Looks like the lucky winner of your magnificent teachings was that chick Kyrie. Apparently so. Wonder what I should teach her, though. How about how to read maps? She's useless with directions. I already did the training for it dozens of times. Wow, she's more geographically challenged than I thought. Uh, well, first I'll just ask her what she wants to do, then I'll decide. Kim, you are conf- You- you- I'm- what? <laughs> Say something like what? What was said that you were like, I want to I wish I could say something like that. Because I'm still very confused. Where is Kyrie anyway? Wait, there's no way she managed to get lost inside her own colony, right? I can't deny the possibility. Mio, come on, over here! Oh, there she is. <laughs> I've got you all to myself now. <laughs> uh, Kyrie? Oops, get a hold of yourself, Kyrie. So, um, Mio, you'll, you'll hear out my request today, no matter what it is, right? I want to go somewhere with you and ask you lots of different questions. Then, oh, and then. Let's relax a little bit, okay? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. Well then, let's uh, let's go right away. Follow me. Uh, it's like she doesn't know the meaning of the word relax. I wonder where she plans on taking you. Oh, wrong, wrong game, Kim. <sighs> also, you spelled it wrong. It's, uh, N-A-M-I-N-E with the accent. 
I'll let her lead the way. It's important to respect your junior's autonomy. Get going. How does Kyrie make lieutenant if she is this bad with directions? I say as if Zoro doesn't exist, but still. Welcome back, Nikhil. <laughs> you don't play Final Fantasy. But do you watch Disney movies, Kim? These husks. So, so we did the 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 quests, uh, Nick, where uh, that one researcher dude wants lands, and lands is like, oh, I'll just strip right here, and then immediately after. Kim was like, uh, LMFAO, I wish I could say something like that. And I have no idea what the fuck she meant. And she won't elaborate. <laughs> Quite a rare sight. Oh, Mio, look at this. There's something on the ground over there. Should we go take a l little look-see? Uh... Oh, shit. Uh... Sure. It's probably how she ends up getting lost all the time. But it's probably fine just this once, since she has us to watch over her. Alright then, let's take a look. Okay. I don't think it was about the abs, Nick. Guys, something a lot. Okay, Lens, I'm gonna need you to strip. Strip for me. Okay. See? Was that so hard to s explain? You acquired a sack of dark grapes. Look, Mio, there's a ton of dark grapes in the sack. Someone clearly must have dropped it. It has the ga colony Gamma Insignia on it. And who exactly do you want to say that to, Kim? That sounded like a monster. It came from up ahead. They might be attacking somebody. That sounds bad. Let's hurry and give him a hand. I have the balls to go up to someone I've met for less than five minutes. I mean, listen. You are... Girl. A lot of people would probably do that. If you asked. Zakir! Mina! Let's back them up, Kyrie. Roger that. Also, the game is struggling very hard to load today. Oh, Mayo died. That's why her arts were in charging. Why am I encouraging you? Are you telling me you don't want to find a significant other? If you're worried about walking up to somebody, I'm sure Nikhil wouldn't mind. <laughs> and no, that, that's me just making a joke. I'm not actually trying to set you guys up. <laughs> I knew it! I knew you would... <laughs> Two months. Two months? Nikhil, what do you mean two months? I never thought the day would come that you would be saving us. I'm just glad you two are safe. Been on the gym grind. Okay, so you're trying to, like, tone yourself up. Oh, did you pick those up for us? Huh? Oh, you mean all these dark grapes? These are yours? Yeah, Zakir and I were out foraging for ingredients. But unluckily for us, we bumped into some monsters and dropped them as we ran. So, that's what happened. But wait, 
Why were you foraging for food? Isn't that what the culinary team's for? You're always off in your own world. Huh? Don't you understand the state our colony is in right now? I can't expect any supplies from the castle now, and the stores are depleting. But really? That too, arms hurty. Oof. When the going gets tough, we can't afford to keep our separate duties. Everyone has to take some initiative, do their part to make things better again. You want some dark grapes, you would also take some light grapes. Personally, I prefer the, like, the lighter, the green grapes over the purple grapes. Ah, aren't you supposed to be a team leader? Why not try and use your brain for once? Try thinking about what you and your team could do for Colony Gamma. Anyway, that's enough yapping for now. Mina, Mina and I should get back to the colony. Well then, see you later. <laughs> Grapes are a winter fruit, right? Um, that's a good question. That is a really good question. I'm going to Google that right now. Are grapes a winter fruit? Winter fruit and vegetables varieties include apples, pears, citrus fruits, kiwi, grapes, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and potatoes. You're eating chocolate ice cream and hazelnuts right now. Funnily, funnily uh, funny you should mention ice cream. I was made to sing a song about ice cream. Harvest Moon has taught you well. Fair. Kyrie. Mio. Mm hmm. In your opinion, what do you think a team leader should be? Yeah, I should be more like Secure? He's smart and considers lots of different things at once. Maybe so. Oh, god damn you! I sang about ice cream, I said the wrong flavor, and that caused everyone to have a blur. They were angry cause I did misspeak and say a flavor that is not the right one, so my brain went duh. Maybe so. Someone who oversees others might need to be a bit like that. But that's not all you have to be. So, my actual favorite flavor is mint chocolate chip, but I misspoke and said vanilla. Everyone has different ideas of what a good leader is. Plus, there are many different ways of putting the work in. Just like Sakir has his own way. Mio. Kairi, how far is our destination? Oh, uh, just a bit further down that way. I see. Mind leading me the rest of the way, then? Yes, of course. Okay, so... What actually happened was I had had a conversation a little earlier about um, iced coffees. Now, my favorite iced coffee is vanilla. So my brain was still thinking vanilla from that. And so when ice cream came up, Brain said, flavor? Vanilla. Not thinking of what... Oh, but actually, ice cream favorite flavor is mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Kyrie is apparently very strong. Strong enough to push that fucker. You take your ice cream seriously. M Mio, Kyrie, have your blade ready. Have your blade at the ready, and don't even think about leaving our side. Uh, understood. Is chocolate your favorite?
Also, I meant to ask, um, uh, how is Hollow Life? You also like mint chocolate chip. Chocolate coffee. I've never had coffee flavored uh, ice cream. We sell it at work. I've just never had the de the desire to try it at the same time that I've had the money to waste. Whew, looks like we lost them. You're amazing as ever, Mio. That was so flickering cool. <laughs> You're strong, beautiful, and kind. I respect the flame out of you. No need to flatter me, Kairi. I'm not trying to flatter you. I'm telling you the absolute truth. I think everyone feels the same way. They all wish they could go on adventures with you. That's why I want to be just like you. Kairi? Uh, Mio... If I may ask, you really think I'm suited to being a leader? Hmm? Why are you asking me all of a sudden? It's just, you probably don't know this, but Mookie was actually supposed to be become the leader of my team. I turned down the role, though. I figured I'd be better suited to it and nominated me instead. I always wanted to be a team leader. I was over the moon about it, but you've had enough of it now. Of course I'm still happy about it, it's just... Flame is the Xenoblade 3 F word. Kind of? Everyone looked so s good. Songs were great. You heart. Huh, I'm glad you had fun. Sometimes I wonder if I was the right choice for the job. Oh, Kyrie. First, we have to get out of here. No complaints, I assume? N nope. Back to Colony? No, follow Kyrie. Hang on. We have items. Uh, Dollar Tree. We sell them at Dollar Tree. In fact, I have considered buying them. Nikhil? If you want me to get you shit from Dollar Tree, you're gonna have to come around here. And get the fuck out of... Bumfuck Kentucky or whatever. I don't remember what state. I have it written down somewhere. Mississippi, get it right. Okay, listen. Like I said, I had it written down somewhere. I didn't remember. Here we are, Mio. Wait, is this... After you, Sina, and Tyon disappeared, I ke came here time after time to look for you. Even after everyone else had given up. Or rather, they probably were just starting to move on and look to the future. I was sure. I knew in my heart that you were still alive out there somewhere. Kyrie. But I can't keep falling back on you to, for help all the time. I'm supposed to be a leader. Going back to our earlier conversation, why did you want to become a leader? Because... Because it's cool. Cool? I can't explain it very well, but... Well, I've always looked up to leaders. I just wanted to be like them. I see. Just send him the stuff, it's faster. Uh, Cloud. Cloud. You should know from first-hand experience that that's bullshit. Because I still owe you stuff from May and it's September. Do you think depending on others isn't leader-like or something? Huh? Being able to lean on others and accept help is easier said than done. It's because in a way, it lets others see where you're weak or lacking. Mm. <laughs> You'll drive by it and run you over while I'm there. How about that? You know? 
I'll think about it. But you're not afraid to ask your team for help, like Lim like Namuki or Zuno. When they call your when they answer your call for help, it's a way to bring out the best in everyone, don't you think? When that happens, your team becomes one. That's why I think you're perfectly suited to being team leader. Mio, thank you. Sure, you might feel small compared to other leaders like Foots or Zakir, but you're on your own person, Kart. Yeah, but you're your own person, Kairi. Have some more faith in yourself. Brilliant as always, Mio. Those words really gave me the warm fuzzies. I feel so much more motivated now. <laughs> Sounds like I did a proper job of teaching you then. I'm glad. I feel so restless now. I need to run. Well then, for our final activity, how about we race back to the colony? Sounds good. Last one back's a rotten egg. Uh, I'm sorry, Cloud. <laughs> I was meant to leave the stuff with Jordan, but the ending days were a bit of a blur. Also, if we're not focusing on the game at all, what the fuck was the side quest? Uh, we're doing Teaches Teachers. You really mean to cloud. Listen, it's not it on purpose. <laughs> no teaching requests here. Try completing teaches ascension quest. Oh god, how do I how do I do? as ever once again thanks to you no i'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me i figure i'll find them when i find them and about journey novel book city children six houses enmity he's on a plane's monsters textbook during the days this curious about blades Favorite Lovenesses, Colony 30's Offseer, Armors, Jump On. I guess I could just read these all, we need to lay all this out. and set all these. Sounds like contact with a Lovenous unit dispatched by Colony 30 was lost in Dana Desert. That's the unit Ven was worried about, right? Communications are often disrupted by De in Dana Desert. We'll be down to the sandstorms that are prevalent there. Maybe the people in that unit still think they need to fight? We destroyed the Colony 30 flame clock. Looks like they didn't get the message, love. One better tell them they don't need to kill anymore. Looks like we'll have to meet with them face to face. Are you really friends if you don't threaten each other's lives? Fair. Yep, off to Dana Desert we go. Eventually. Me. Nopon and Colony 30 sure seem to do whatever they please, huh? Taking five after working five, snoozing mid-shift, or just plain wandering off. They could give them dog tags, same as us, manage their time that way. That would certainly have its benefits. You can monitor their comings and goings with much more accuracy. Friends must be joking. That would evaporate all motivation, like dew from Levness on warm morning. That's right! Nopon are free creatures, not slaves to core working hours and quotas and tracking lunch breaks. Oh, easy now, easy, I say. No need to get ticked off. It was all just hypothetical. At least the Nopon of Colony 9 all seem to be pretty serious about stuff. And for Colony Gamma, our guys and gals took their work more seriously than those in Colony 30. Think it's Baldi's fault, then. Hmm, may well be. This reminds me. Lots of armors around Colony 30, isn't there? Must be nice for them, lots of food around. An armor meat ain't nothing to scoff at. Keep saying armor's this and armor's that, but actually the proper term would be arm- Oh my god, armuidae? The ones with horns are ardons, while the ones without are armus proper. Bleh, armus proper. Speaking of meat quality, armors have more sub subcutaneous fat, making theirs more flavorful. <coughs> oh my god. 
I don't know what cut caught in my throat. Fuck. Mm. <coughs> On the other hand, Arden horns are rich in nutritious compounds. So people grind and mix them with water to drink. Any other questions? Oh wow, I didn't know half of that. Tyon, you're awesome. Nobody asked any questions to begin with. What are you, some kind of armyologist? There sure are plenty of Nopon in Colony 30, huh? We certainly don't have any colonies in Agnes with that many Nopon. Crazy. Oh yeah, talking of crazy. Looks like somebody weird was bound to show up among all those furballs. I think one of them is going around playing an Offseer's flute. Yeah, I've heard of that too. But his plan is kind of crappy and it's cheesing everyone off. He's playing it around the colony. Could he be training? I think you might be right. Speaking of which, in Kevaz, you take a training course to become an Offseer, right? Can Nopon take that course to become Offseers too? I suppose. There were never any Nopon when I had my training, at least. Nopon training to be an Offseer. I kinda wanna meet this guy. Alright then, shall we drop by the Colony 30 Residential District? People have been hearing the, the flute there a lot. Let's do it. Did you know I could get a free chocolate? I'm sorry, what, Nikhil? This reminds me. Hey everyone, I've got something I've been meaning to ask you all. Is it about Levinus says? If so, you should probably address it to Riku, not us. Lance, you are correct, and Tyon, ordinarily you would also be correct, but... I want to know what everyone's favorite Levinuses are. You mean like, do I prefer a Keats or a Velites? Exactly! For me, I guess it's a Thorax. Makes it easier to get around. I like Belenas myself. They just look fun. What about you, Tyon? Uh, Jurinus, I suppose. It's on the cutting edge of technology. Noah, Mio, favorite Levinus? Hmm, I don't think I've ever looked at Levinus's through that particular lens. Me neither. What's your fave then, Valdi? Me? Well, obviously it'd have to be... Ah, we know yours already. No need to say it. Well, I don't want to say it. Let me say it. Each... We get a free $300 credit that we can spend at any place in the hospital each month. We have a place that sells chocolate cake. Nice. Me. Apparently, the Lost Numbers can use all different kinds of blades, just like us. And I could just say that the city's people were originally of one kind with the Ouroboros. So you'd say that explains the similarity with us. Yeah, okay, I could see that. Even so, it's not many people that can master fighting with multiple blade forms, it seems. If you don't commit, your form's gonna be sloppy and you'll get bad habits. I think I'll always prefer using what I'm good at. I'd like to get at least a basic understanding of all of them. Nothing beats flexibility on the battlefield. Me, I'm a power girl through and through. What the sparks a power girl? Ah, never mind, I caught your drift. It's important to remember though, even though we have Ouroboros powers, it's still a matter of effort to achieve proficiency. Bro, you barely spend any money on food anymore. More money for dumb shit. We need to that makes so out. much sense. Before or now, I can't tell which one was tougher. What is this about? Ah, nothing really. I was just thinking about the training regime that those lost numbers go through. I hear it's a real gauntlet. That's how you toughen up, ain't it? Not that I want to sign myself, sign up myself. Right? Ours wasn't pleasant at all. But, when it boils down to it, I think it's the trainees who are better off, yeah? Compared to what we're doing now. Exactly, yeah. Life was a lot easier back when we were new recruits, right? Ah, hmm. That does kind of make sense. All we do these days is fighting, and then more fighting. Yeah, you get me? What sort of training do you think they actually go through? You curious, Susanna? You want to come with? We could check it out together. Yeah, now you're talking. It's always fun to shop around and for some new exercises. You lot are really getting into this idea. The training ground should be near the dormitory. I think we spent the night there once? Yeah, let's drop by when we're in the area. Side story lands. There you go, Nikhil. We found it. Doctor's Lounge has free breakfast lunches, about 10 bucks a meal. Oh, we have a cutscene. So you wish to utilize this thing which I meant to dispose. Such daring lunacy. 
That is what I would dub it. It would be a dreadful waste to throw it away. There's always a use. Always. People, lives, the lot. Why? I stand corrected. Then, what manner of use is it that you have envisioned? The lot's numbers. The city ruffians. You do know. No life can be harvested therefrom. Yes. I am aware. That's why I'll have my toy soldiers play a little game. The lives of the fallen will be amassed in this special flame clock. As a reward for the final lass or lad left standing. Oh. The cream of the crop of youth competing for glory. Oh. Is that not simply sublime? Uh oh Wait a minute. So basically you're like saving a lot of money by using these credits. I want to see lost number eye patch look like on Napon. Eye patch so roguish and cool. Next time meeting, we'll ask Simon to give one for sure. You didn't know that, Nikhil. I'm just gonna lie here. It's kind of been a thing for a while. Uh, I'm kind of just killing all of the uh, conversations. We need to lay all this out. It started a cutscene because I started Lanza's side story. It's soothing, the sound of the waves. Just look at it, the sea seems to go on forever. If we were still in Colony Gamma, we'd never have ended up coming here. Think we would have either, eh, Noah? Yeah, no way. I don't think I could have even imagined spending time just gazing out on the water. Well, of course not. If we had time to spend staring at the sea, we had time to fight. You said it. I think having moments like these is good for us from time to time. Agreed. Getting a call. Huh? It's Commander Ezard. Tyon, can I bother you? Of course, Commander. What can I do for you? I need to discuss something with you. Could you come by Colony Lambda? That is, when you have a free moment. I would hate to inconvenience you. Yes, understood. We'll be there. Alright, see you later then, Tyon. What do you say? That we should meet him at Lambda whenever we have time. Alright, then let's pay him a visit when we next have a gap in our schedule. Side story tie-on. I bet you there's going to be a cutscene. There wasn't a cutscene. I'm shocked. This reminds me. You know, I'm a sturdy guy and all, but even I wouldn't want to do any more of that prison labor crap. Plus, number of soldiers had to do it every day at the prison camp, right? Talk about rough. Some of them had been in prison for ten years or more. In our old world, that's like working from our first term right through to the tenth, and then some. That must have taken incredible willpower. People of the city have thought it fought against Mobius for years and months beyond counting. Resilience fostered by enduring such strain must be what helped them survive. Makes a kind of sense. Guess there's a lesson there we could bear to learn too. Goes to show, they know a thing or two about sacrifice too. Still got a ways to go, haven't we? Yeah, we best, we'd best shore up our resolve so we could stand alongside them without shame. Oi, Tyon, you've been keeping up with your Agnes textbook reading, right? Isn't that a bit pointless now? I mean, since we're all on the same side and all that? Here's the thing. Before we came, became Ouroboros, I believed implicitly that every word in there was correct and accurate. That if I practiced what it taught, all would turn out to the benefit of my colony and my queen. Now? Now I know, as we all do. It was no more than a Mobius deception. Right, so why waste any more time on it? 
Because if you think about it, the textbooks contain information advantageous to the Mobius. You see what I'm saying? I can reverse engineer and analyze this advantageous information. I can find out about their real goals and intentions. Whoa, so you're reading them to, like, learn more about your enemy? Information forms a basis of strategy. It's elementary tactician know-how. But it's also not like everything in there is backwards nonsense, either. Consider the case of Colony 9 Field, for instance. So we can't blindly trust what we read. We have to sort through the information and make our own minds up. Glad you're so quick on the uptake. This reminds me. Back when we were in Colony 9, those bunnets should have made our lives pretty miserable. You're, you're telling me that fucking level 5 unique monster kicked my ass so many times on my first playthrough. What? Why? They're such little cutie wooties. Cutie wooties? Even the ones holding giant weapons in the tails. Even those, I ask. Uh, yeah, okay, those are scary. We've once had to push through a whole bevies of them to get back to the colony from Yuzana Plains. Oh yeah, I remember that. Not gonna lie, I don't miss it. Am I remembering right that it all that it started because Fox uh, tried starting a fight with their bunnet leader or something? Oh, like they came for revenge? Bunnets do tend toward collective behavior. Moreover, the ones holding weapons are known to be aggressive. A hundred more of the snuffers come at you at once. It ain't fun. It's not like their meat is any good either. So when fighting bunnets, keep an eye on their numbers. Noted. Good talk, guys. Okay, okay, let's lay it out once and for all. House Ortiz works together with Monica's family, the Van Dams. And opposed to them are the Doyles. People call them the Conservatives? And keeping the middle ground between them is House Rhodes, is that right? Man, city politics are confusing as all get out. And why they're opposing each other- And why are they opposing each other in the first place? They're all city people, ain't they? Uh, the more people in a community, more opportunity for ideological divides. I think this is one of those. Though they share a common goal, they disagree on the way, best way to achieve it. I have some experience with that. There's bound to be some story behind the story. One that we don't know. It's always something like that. Indeed, we should tread carefully whenever we have to deal with them. That does seem prudent. If we misstep, we might become embroiled in the conflict as well. I still hope one day everyone can work together as one. Is that naive? I didn't even know that, to be fair, to kill. Right then, strategy meeting. A novel? They're all the rage in the city. Some kind of book or something. I don't know. A book? Can't be that good then. I get the feeling they're pretty different from the textbooks we used to have to read. Oh? Different how? I don't know the details. Are you curious though, Mio? Just a little. Can we read one of these novels and see what it's like? Yes, let's see if we can find one to buy in the city. <laughs> oh my god, hiccups. Ugh. This reminds me. Hey, have you noticed that we set out from the HE region? I came right back again? Oh, Spock, you're right. Wow, talk about a waste of effort. Of course, it wasn't a waste. We had no way of knowing the Cloud Keep was there at the start of our journey. Even if we'd known, we wouldn't have been able to get inside anyway. Most important things in life are closest to hand, but hardest to find, meh. Uh, uh, hmm? Something wrong? Uh, nah, it's just... Kind of surprising to hear that sort of thing coming from you. Also, did friends take Manana for some kind of blithy, happy-go-lucky dummy pawn? Uh, uh, hmm. Why friends look away? Happy birthday, Malos fl fl falling off a cliff backwards. This reminds me. Yeah, kinda. Eh, I know those eye patches are necessary. They really was mess with me while fighting. I get you, Senolov. I lose so much death perception. I just can't get a good beat on my enemies sometimes. Granted. But if we're trying to get close to the Mobius unseen, there's really no other way. For sure. Until Monica gave us these, the Mobius knew every single thing we did almost before we did them. The ambushes that waited us at Colony 4 and Lambda prove it, yes. Well, except that we were safe while in the Black Fog. Sure, but we can't stay hidden in the fog forever. Right. You never know when an annihilation event might occur. It's too dangerous to risk it. 
Yeah, I know. I'll keep my eye patch on. Even the lost numbers don't wear theirs 24-7 though, right? I'm sure there'll be times when we're safe to take them off. Or, you know, cosmetics allow me to take them off. I definitely feel stronger. Or you, or you could just cut your eye off. No, Nikhil. Ninety nine to do one level ten. Dear God, that's insane. It's not a good one. All right, now that we've gone through all of our things, Next on the list is... what are we doing? Side story lance. Okay, that did stay active. That's good. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, we're going to go like the middle of the square here. No, you said if they Ouroboros, they get to combine and can see again. But that also, like, puts the target on their back. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find the third kid. Before we start lands. Just so I can... Do I want to know what that is? Oh, that's the book side quest. We'll get there. Hi, Miyabi! Why are you here? They're letting me join in with the Lost Numbers training now. Well, from the sidelines at least. I've been thinking it's time to get stronger, to improve my skills. I'm going to fight on behalf of the people in the city. If that's what you want, Miyabi. It is. Yeah, I guess I have a goal to motivate me now. Stop by and chat anytime you like. Can they Ouroboros without their eyeball? Probably? Are you, kid? only happened because the elder let outsiders come and go into the city willy-nilly. Still, we were able to live in peace for all this time until now. That's no small feat, I think. City discontents. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for children. Went to check out the city's former site. There was this monster I'd never seen before. My legs nearly buckled from fear. But hey, I made it back in one piece. What even was that thing, though? Ionia's strongest. Oh, no. What I'd do to be a kid again be friends with anyone from any faction. Those kids will grow up, and when they do, they'll see the situation for what it is and be at each other's throats, I'm sure. There's children number three. Anyway, we're taking the scenic route. Uh, can they orb it? Yeah, because Rex probably wasn't part of the system. Uh, which thing is that Rex comment about? Finish the chocolate key. Oh, fun. Wear two eye patches for double protection. Um, only if you want to, like, constantly be tripping over your own feet. Like, I. I I already don't have good depth perception, so, like, don't make it worse. Have you seen what Mobius did to the Great Sword? How on Ionius are we supposed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that? I believed we could take them down with the Ouroboros' help. Now I think we might very well be better off hiding for our lives. There's City Discontent number two. Why don't we just cut off both eyes and make it some Mobius? Well... Hang on. What does Rex have to do with Ouroboros, Kim? And Nikhil. <laughs> oh, Lance, you're a glutton for punishment, ain't ya? Might have, don't 
tell me you ain't curious too. I want to know all their tricks of the trade. Just cut the symbol out like surgery. <laughs> Mm, the founders were not Ouroboros. And Rex wasn't one of the founders, he was the mentor of one of the founders. <laughs> GG. No re. Six ain't many. Six of what now? The Ouroboros candidates. All that training, and six get in. Oh yeah, Monica did say something like that to us. I feel kind of let down. How so? Just knowing there's a pecking order here too. Makes them the same. Same as us. People aren't equally suited to everything. Such is life. Sure. I guess, but... I'm feeling hungry. You guys want to go grab a bite? I'm in favor. How about the shopping area? I found the tastiest looking torpedo stand. How's that sound? Torpedo wraps, eh? Fuck yes. Lance? Yeah, sure thing. Lance is depressed. <laughs> Lands. Achievement unlocked. Depression. Alright, I'm gonna do one thing. Because it's bothering me. Just put everybody in their leisure clothes. Because it's bothering me that they're in armor while everybody else is just wearing tank tops and shit. Except for Tyon, because Tyon's weird. A city torpedo wrap, eh? This has me curious. The shop that sells them should be just across the bridge. Juggling. In my Xenoblade game? What are you doing back here? How many times have I told you no performing out here? That's disappointing. Why what? Why is it bothering me? I don't know. Hmm. You shouldn't be wasting your time like this. Don't you have training? I'm not wasting my time. This is my job here. Oh, why no perform? I don't fucking know. You call that a job? Hey, you're all Roboris, right? I've heard. I suppose my job doesn't really compare to yours, I'll admit. Why are they on your case? Street performance. It's not allowed on this road. Street performance. This stuff. Around this spot, this is where you get the best crowds. <laughs> but still, they like to push me around. We're at war here. Why aren't you fighting? They say. Do you not need to be fighting? The city's army is just for volunteers. Oh. There's plenty who are willing. Why is that? Because it gets you others' approval. Hmm. Yeah, well, it would, wouldn't it? 
You think so? You don't? Well, who decides what has merit? And whoever's making the rules, how do we know they're right? I like this kid. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know anything. It's just... Uh-huh. I think... Isn't it fine if there's like one guy who makes the call for himself? You know? Even if it ends up being pointless. Hey, even pointless things can have a point. Down the line. I know. <laughs> I want to live my way, take it one step at a time, the way I want, really live. Oh, rats! Better scarf her before the guards find me again. Hey! Tell you what, I've got a new trick, just in the works. You should come and watch. Bye. Oh. What does it mean to live? You okay there? Can I help out? Nah. I'm all good. Mm. Lance! This alarm's worrying. Head for the war room. Right. On it. Make for the war room. Casual stroll. Sorry, but the war room should be our top priority right now. But my torpedo wrap. How rude. Exactly, we should have taken some with us. A cradle transport for the colonies? Yes. The report is calling it large scale. And you want to liberate it? Like you did that last batch? Right, well, that explains the emergency assembly. When? when? <laughs> By our estimate, tomorrow, late night. Podesto Valley floor, at the Great Swords base. Boss? The logistics guys wanted an overnight camping kind of deal. Approved. Sort out the planning. Just what I thought you'd say, so I took initiative. We can leave any time. Perfect. What do you think? Should we lend them a hand with it? Yeah. Gladly. If Monica's okay with it. It's up to you. But if things don't go to plan, there might be a fight. We're prepared for that. Hmm. Then be my guest. Take this chance to show my soldiers that Ouroboros spark. It'll be an illuminating experience for them, fighting or not. All right. We'll drill them well. <laughs> now we just hang about. Alright, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, heroes, give me, I guess, Miyabi. I love being with you guys. Noah has gotten better at expressing himself. He has. I'm proud of him. I mean, they all have, but Noah especially.
<laughs> Dumbass. My husband hugged me, so I almost stabbed him. Fucking idiot. Sounds like a very level twist. Um, I don't know about that one, Chief. Holy shit, this cutscene takes so fucking long. I mean, you probably did what I did and skip traveled everywhere. In fact, I think I'll do that now. Actually, I've never been to this corner of the map, so I guess we're filling it in. I had to take a minute to remember how to do. The boat's not that bad, Nikhil. The only thing I don't like about the boat is that you can't zoom out the minimap, so you kind of just get, like, stuck with a very small window of what you can actually see. Where do you have me go in game? This way. In here. Oh right, there's like a port down here where the old sea was. So, so the boat controls vaguely like tank control E, and I think that's what Nikhil's problem is. He doesn't tank control very well. Things used to be easier, huh? What was? All we had to do was bash heads. No thinking, no nothing. What about the dying part? You weren't scared? Sure, I was scared. But at least I knew what was expected of me. Wait a sec. You want to go back to that? Obviously not. Just saying how I feel. There's just too much snuff to consider nowadays. It's doing my nutting. I think you should try it sometime. This thinking thing might not be so bad. Stop making it sound like I don't. You just said it yourself. No <laughs> thinking, no nothing. I was talking hey, about before, you spoon. Sorry, who are you calling a spoon? Oh, shut up. If you're going to act like a spoon, of course I'm going to call you one. Uh, it takes one 
no one. What? Let's just chill out here, you guys. Okay, then why don't you tell me where we are now? What's this region? Come on, spill. Uh, it's, uh... Cadencia lands, come on. From your elbow. Doesn't that make you the spoon? Just because I slept through that class, if I've been awake for it, right. then... Things were easier. Then stay awake, you spoon! Yeah, we had everything handed to us. Back then. Back Akil, you literally I asked us to make you sad. You fucking dumbass. Anyway, basically, uh... Mm. <laughs> Is it? What? You had thoughts. And deep ones at that. I can tell. When we're playing together. But you have, as well. I hope. Chestnut. Find an answer. Absolutely. We'll find it. I had to turn away three kids. They were being annoying. Trying to rent a room without speaking hardly any English. What? The hell? Uh... The Podesto Valley floor is ahead. Huh. The camp was stones throw from the Great Sword. They weren't 21 and the closest one turned 21 in three days. You still said no. I mean, I think he kind of has to by policy. Hey guys! Hmm? It's an honor. I mean, this chance to do an op with you guys. What do you mean? You're my heroes. Uroboros. I mean, I always knew a grunt like me could never measure up. Although, we all still dreamed of it. And now you're here in the flesh. Doesn't seem real. What's so great about us? Huh? Before this op's done, we might have to kill old friends. How about it? Could you do it? Stab a friend? Lance! I... I mean, that's... Damn. Lance is really through... really... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Lance is really going through it right now. What the fuck? Where did this come from? You're supposed to be the fucking meathead. Jesus. You just don't trust anyone on Earth when after the last young group a few months ago. Crashed the room and kept the neighbors up all night. Ugh. Go home. I, I, I'm sorry. I just got excited. It's all fake, but when shit hits the fan, they might just double cross us. You watch. <coughs> you saying you can't trust us with the job? 100%. You never trained with our unit before. Never ever fought by our side. Way I see it, you're just some arse whites who stole away what was rightfully ours. <sighs> oh yeah? If I let you down, shoot me. In the front or back, I don't care. Gee, thanks. Well, that's awful big of you, pal. Yeah, nah, I can't take them without a valid ID. I'm sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have come. No, this is good. It's how you build trust. You can only begin once you've gotten everything out in the open. Really? One of my dad's favorite lines. Wasn't it the same for you lot? She has a point. Also, yeah, fake IDs would be better than no IDs. Yeah, you might be right on the mark. I'm sure they'll settle down when they need to. They've got good role models today. <laughs> hey, that's not 
your everyday chump. Lance. <sighs> have I ever had a fake ID? No, I have not. I hate you. Why are you even awake? Intel was right. There's quite a few of them. But it's too quiet. There's barely any signs of life. They're probably all conked out. The fewer sentries, the better for us. Monica, the cradles are in that transport. Yes, it's likely. Let's head down. If we go round from the right, we can approach unseen. Roger that. Except, you know, Senna's glowing fucking hair. I'm just saying. There's a container over there. Makes sense, I have never been here before. Anyway, yeah, no... Now, are you saying you wouldn't be concerned about a whiplash like that? Like, ah, damn. I hope we can make use of this. I want to see all the sights. If it's all like this, then this will be a cakewalk. Let's try not to get ahead of ourselves. Shut up before we attract fucking attention. Thank you. Twitch, did Twitch allow you to change the title on the site? What do you mean? I always do it in the stream manager. They're all empty. Son of a... Report! Same over here. We got cradles, but nothing in them. Monica? Run. Did we just fall for a trap? It is an ambush. And yeah, I was able to change it before stream real easy. They've got us surrounded. Converse troops. Well, doesn't it suck to be you? Every little step you made turned out exactly as planned. Uh oh. Now us, we're an elite unit, the all stars of Kevez. That's so weird, Patrick. Enough. Right here, right now, we're gonna correct that little mistake. Gone. Oh, so you've actually heard of me? Guess I gotta give myself more credit than I thought. Layla and who? Sparks. They look like they're in their early terms. That means... Yes, it's the bully. They got reborn. That adds up. This lot, soon after they moved to Colony 8, I hear they croaked. <sighs> Don't dare look down on us second-termers. We were chosen. 
We are the elite. Time to kick their asses. Now I don't know if you're lost numbers or what. But you're in our way, and for that, your heads are gonna roll. Who? Why? What? I was being targeted by not who I should be. What's the matter, Nikhil? Yes, they are. You paid for this. Listen, I I'm gonna get over leveled. There's no fucking avoiding it at this rate. I saw what you said about the orange haired VTuber on Twitter, Nick. Oh no, what did he say? And which account was it on? Someone link it to me. You are not to hesitate. Because I don't know which post you're talking about. This is gonna be like that Pro ZD video where he like beats the final boss after doing it. Yeah. Ouroboros as well. I can't believe my luck. I suppose I ought to have prepared better still. A woman? You like my children? They're an anti-city special unit. 
One that I have diligently raised and lavished with love myself. It has been backbreaking to educate them so. They'll have to earn much, much more life for me before they're done. Oh, that ain't nothing. Failed investments. Kill, I have sent you worse. So you see. I think this is the first fight we've ever started in Ouroboros form. You have said worse. True. Get toppled, dumber. Oh, that's why his HP is low. Compared to the things you've seen artists say and tweet, Nick is very tame and compared. True! Cats are nice. Do I have a launch anywhere in my party right now? I don't think I do. I don't. Okay. Alright, who needs chain attacks when you're 20 levels above? Listen. It's more so when there's a bunch of regular enemies. When I'm fighting a, uh, a, 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 I guess at this point it's basically a mini boss. That's when it doesn't matter anymore. So it doesn't seem to be making much of a difference.
Damn, that was some good damage. Except it didn't really do much. I do not. I don't think. It didn't look like the Lucky Seven Arts. That looked like his regular arts. I probably should have like activated it before starting the chain attack, though. Anybody have the? No. Okay. Oh, a thought has occurred to me. <gasps> Hep by come. Cut that very close. We're good. We're fine. Death of a thousand cuts. I really need to get Noah a, uh, burst or something. Oh well. Two twenty-three percent. If this doesn't kill, I don't know what will. not gonna kill. I'm so sad. I almost did a million damage, though. Shout out to Toppa locking, by the way. gonna die before I get the chance. The fuck was that sound clip? Charity from consuls. What? what are you on about? Get snuff. You're talking out your ass. Don't have to fight. Fighting is all that we know. If we don't have that, then what the snuff are we supposed to do? 
Tell me, what do we do now? Hey, need some help? Huh? Ah, oh, yeah. Nah. Been through worse. Man, you guys. Stunning. You're so far beyond us. Ah, uh, it's not a big deal. If you were one of us, you'd do just as well. <laughs> Figure it out. Think they'll be okay, those guys. What's eating you, Lance? Well, I just worry we cut them loose a bit soon. Tell me, what are we going to do now? How would I know? Huh? You stop stealing lives. You guard it. It's simple. But the how is up to you. Got it? Spark? You can't do this to us. I just did. Fuck you. Colony 4. Know it? Yeah. I've heard about it. On your map, middle of the Faunus region. The lieutenant there, Boliaris. You can tell him we sent you. Try him. Helps to have a mentor, starting out. No, he's really not. You gave him the info. Now they got a choice. Some might take it hard, though. Besides, when we cut through the flame clock, it was to protect the city detachment, too. There was little else we could do. If we'd meddled with even more, it might have come right back round to bite us in the bum. We did the right thing by telling them about Colony 4. I think that was the best course of action. <sighs> Everything they believed came crashing down just like that. They'll be confused for a while, sure. But they'll figure it out. Just the same as you lot did. We might have gotten off lightly. If we hadn't met like we did in that valley, we'd be just as confused as those guys. Luck was on our side. Speaking of, back then, wasn't it Lance who was the most reluctant of us? Absolutely. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Our big man was just a bit shy to introduce himself in front of new people, right? Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was. I did kind of get the impression that he was embarrassed to speak up. Right? Eh? Ah, uh, he's just a big teddy bear, really. I guarantee you that they're still teasing him on the trip back to the city. We finally got them. Same dish as mine. Double Arden meat, deluxe. Ah, thanks a bunch. Ah, oh, let's see. No tall spice here, but double veggie. Arden sausage, huh? That sounds good. But then, there's the tall spice sauce as well. Hmm, fluff cream and skeeter syrup dressing. What delight. Oh. Tyan is very indecisive. How can I? Possibly choose. <laughs> Still hard to believe, huh? Eating what we want. Huh? But is it enough? I want more. Dude, that's already pretty hefty. You really gonna eat another? It's not what he means, Uni. They did that close up just to not have to animate him taking a bite. Maybe it has to start with me. Did he just eat that thing in one bite? 
Lance and the others took part in a mission to liberate cradles alongside the lost numbers, unexpectedly reuniting with Garble in the process. Don't overwork your thinking muscles. Also, isn't this the exact spot that he just got kicked out of, like, bro? Um. Yeah, we could do one more. Oh, oh. I swear to God, I... That's right time, yeah, okay. I did have it. Yeah, sure, whatever. Clear water shelf area. Pentalus region. This is serious kick. Patrick, it's a burrito. Oh, that's right. They wanted us at Colony Lambda. Kim, it's two in the morning. You can wait till tomorrow for the burrito. Search party been sent out to look for Shijima. Well, I can say my squad hasn't heard anything about it, that's for sure. But what if the enemy pushed us back here in a column formation? That'd just result in a deadlock. However, if we hit our soldiers in Lambdos for honest, we'd be able to cause some chaos at least. And you already bought food today enough for a few days. And then the burrito can wait. Oh, now I remember. Kind of got that message from Izzard, right? I did. I was thinking now might be a good time to see him. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. We'll be waiting outside. Thank you. I'll try to make it quick. Water and water and water 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 and water and 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 water 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 The one who nursed me back to health is Nimue. Given how most of these side stories has involved somebody getting revived, I have a very sneaking suspicion that we're about to see a revived Nimue. Theirs was a curious colony. No one ever fought. They'd spend their days tending Sophronias. There used to be a castle there at one time. But at some point it was destroyed in a great battle. And there it lay in ruins. It was there that I saw some cradles left over from that time. They looked like they would break at any minute. But still, some were making soldiers. Nimue, she was just one of them. The people there, they were like we are now. 
They lived free of the flame clock's yoke. Sir, you say they were like us. So perhaps their colony was freed by Ouroboros at some point in the past. Well, I'm not sure. It looks like Nimue and the others had always been living off the land. Also, hmm. they'd been strictly shunning contact with others for generations. Naturally, most people there gave me the cold shoulder. Before long, I journeyed away from the colony. Along with Nimue. Nimue left with you? Why so? There's a world out there. It'd be nice to see it. This stuff? Uh. I wondered at her motivations. But I think I see now. You know, I thought the same thing, Kim. We're more free to consider our emotions. Back then, Nimue had to carefully hide the fact that her iris was unconnected to a flame clock. She enlisted a Nopon engineer to make the lens. All so she could live among us. And after that, she became the Nimue you know. I never knew you two had such a connection. Incredible. But why show me this now? I found it. Well, Digging through my storage in the attic. What? The leadership want Nimue's colony wiped out? Yeah. We only just heard. A Nopon merchant was able to tip us off. And since Nopon are involved in handling most logistics and transportation, the information should be good. So the brass have pinpointed its location? Could be. You don't have to be so cagey, Commander. Cagey? You can tell it to me straight. Am I wrong? You'd like us to keep Nimue's colony safe. But... Isn't that the reason? Why you've told me this whole story? If you moved to protect the colony, it'd put this place in the line of fire. I've heard. Like how, after the Consul's disappearance and the loss of the Flame Clock, despite sending a report to HQ, you haven't received a word of reply. Hmm. We Chats reported fired. that it all happened while we lay there unconscious, which is the unvarnished truth. Yet still nothing. I understand. Let me run it past the others, Commander. Damn. There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Could I have a moment of your time? Maybe if I remember where the rest spot is in this place. Hey, there's a container here. Might as well claim this. Say, isn't this valuable? What would it be doing here? I have not been able to talk to the toad. Where is the rest spot? Am I just blind? Is there no rest spot in here? It's at the fucking entrance. This was the one Yorin was watching, yeah. Everyone, get some rest. Why are Riku and Manana required for this? I don't get it. It's best we talk this through. What is the full story? Those two must have shared a lot of memories. Like you said, Tyon. Sounds like Ouroboros got involved in the past. So that pretty much makes it our business. Count us in, mate. Saffronia. That's that thingy, right? We saw one growing once. 
If there's loads of them blooming somewhere, that's something I'd want to see. Huh? I'm shocked. What? I got like flowers and junk. <laughs> Banana too! Banana have wished to see flowers! This is unusually proactive for you, Manana. Quite so. Ladies with flowers are like peas of same pot. You're looking for new ingredients. No what Manana talk about. But someone had to keep Manana out of trouble. Is that okay with friend Tile? Sure. Thank you, everyone. All right, off we go. Yeah, I saw Shijima going into the tunnels earlier. Tunnels? What's he gone and wandered in there for? Off we go, we go! I suppose he might have some business out at the other end of them? That should be enough data. We go, we Is that Electra? Or is that Korra? I don't remember. One of the two. Do the Napon lay eggs? They are a little bit. They are like birds, so it wouldn't shock it. They went and did the thing where they all lay eggs. It is something that has to just a beg. Question. Has to beg the question. Sorry to involve you in this. Don't worry. We all agree that this is something we should do. It's a while since we first got thrown together. We're used to this by now. And, you know, we want to see Sophronia's. <laughs> it was me. I'm the one who threw Nimue's life into chaos. I should have just left her where she was. Commander. Tayan. So? If? Nimue's been reborn. If she's in that colony, keep her safe by any means. This time, I want her to follow the path she was meant to tread. Yes, sir. I promise. It's very possible that they were fucking. I don't get it. Why doesn't the commander just come along? He's got no choice, right? He might get the attention of the castle or something. Oh, guess so. That's not all, I think. What? I'm sure he must be scared. If he meets her again, he might end up behaving the same way towards her. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. But I do understand how he feels. Yeah, I definitely hesitate. It's not just about himself. If I hadn't been so careless, the commander wouldn't have to feel this way. You're not still thinking like that, are you? No, no. I, I'm... I'm just... You're just what? Looking back all the time never helped nobody. Look, I... I know. Right? Come on, then. Uni. Huh? <laughs> okay, sorry. I know you're right. Akil, are you still here? Do we meet Noah's parents? No. But we do know who Mio's are. What the fuck's going on here? Hey, look at those Nuppons. Uh, they look like Nuppon traders. What are they dancing out there for? Shall we ask? No. Looking for bargains? 
What's all this dancing about then? Sometimes Nogon just wants to dance. Is there law again? Already ate dinner. You dance after eating? That's pretty unusual. Not even slightly unusual. What silly maniac dance while eating? Nobody said anything Not the about point. that. Okay, anyway, so why were you dancing? Because just ate dinner with legendary Tempapa. Never have self Fifi been this happy. So glad to come on journey. Legendary Tempapa. What makes him a legend? Nah, nah. Did friends say Tempapa? Tempapa is real. Is he famous? He's very famous. That cooking is so tasty it makes face melt. Legend among Nopon. He's really that good. Good is great. This is a hero quest. Manana want to meet Tem Papa so bad. He here till just now. Chase after and you catch him. Manana must go. Date with Destiny and Apprentice. Wow, he even takes apprentices. So Fifi saw him go in direction of Daedalile. So go there to meet him. This best news of Manana's life. Manana going to become Apprentice. Is worth shot. Uh, we're just gonna go along with this. I doubt we can simply pretend none of this just happened. Guess not. Pico? I knew it. We have some new names registered. I no, fuck you, game. That's not the quest I want to do. Yeah, only hero quests are voice acted. So, so when I was like, "This is a hero quest," is because I realized, "Oh wait, this is voice acted." I will go meet Soaring Tempest after we're done saving Nimue. Oh, they're getting fucked up. There's a Ferronis here. Looks like it's trying to clear away the earth. No sneaking through with this big thing in the way. I think we found the enemy force the commander mentioned. <sighs> Manana not see any people. A whole unit made up of Levnesses. Much weirdness. Quite. Hang on, look. A console. They haven't found us, have they? No. I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This one might have different abilities than that K guy. Guess that's a thing. But why have only Levnesses? I can't fathom what this Mobius can do. But they're about to wipe out an allied colony. They'd have a fun time explaining that to soldiers. True, true. Let's hurry. All that digging will take some time. If we can bypass this unit, we should be able to beat them there. Let's do that. Keyword Make should. Sure we don't get spotted. Ready? Oh boy, stealthy time. We've never been here before. We can stay undetected this way. Yeah, clearly. This looks handy, Danny. So if you recall a very long time ago, it was mentioned that we should come to Far Lane Overpass. Underpass, rather. It looks like we're finally here. It only took several hundred fucking in-game days. 
and uh you know like a year of real time right when the foreigner starts moving we won't have enough time we'll have to do something before then so much to see huh ruja headwaters Damn, Tyon did not hesitate. Agni and Auto Labs, is it? But who are they fighting? Could it be? So it would seem. Let's help them. Roger. Just. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. One of those uh, NPCs there, that was Nimue. Reborn, as I fucking called. Even playing as. I'm playing as Senna and I am dying. Tyon, you're dying. Oh shit. I didn't even realize these enemies were competently leveled. The annoying thing is that I am required to have Riku and Manana in the party for this. Sherlock. Fighting Lovenesses. Did I not set a third one? I didn't set a third one. Alright, let's try this again. How- 
What happened? Lance just fucking died. By resetting it, do you mean, like, running the end-of-day program? Or whatever? Actual reset, okay. That was a lot better. I know it's hard for you to believe us, but I promise you, we aren't lying. Can we really trust you? Nimue. Huh? Uh, I, I mean... These Levnesses were unmanned. It's likely they were a scouting party. The main force, they're drawing near. Very well. I'll choose to trust you. However, I do not speak for our entire colony. The others will decide on their own. Follow me. Understandable. I'll take you to meet our chief. Chief? Basically, their commander. Zion, it's not that hard to figure out. I can't believe Nimue's here. I don't think Zion's mind's on the job. Shut up, uni. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, 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 no. Oh my god, please fuck off, Ropals. All you have left to do is make parking passes, which you're printing now. We'll have to do... We'll do at 6 to make the last character go by faster. Fair. I would probably do the same thing. All things considered. Shall we deal with this? I'll draw the reinforcements. This looks handy. 
Alright, here we go. Sir Tyon, was that your name? Ah, uh, oh, yes. No, sir, though. Just Tyon. Tyon. Before, you called me Nimue. How did you know my name? It's a long uh, story. Well, you see... Right. Your dog tag. On your... Dog tag? Eh, <laughs> get fucked. What? Tyon! I guessed. <laughs> uh, I'm told I have great intuition. Guessing a name for me, phew, it isn't even a challenge. Liar. Saw right through it, huh? Wow, is that true? Oh my god. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> oh, this is doing my head in. Just stop and tell her. Oh. Great idea. Nah. By the way, Nimue. You're the reincarnation of my old boss. Who's gonna believe that? It sounds crazy as all spark, dude. But it's the truth. We've had a lot longer to get used to all this stuff, remember? Uh... <laughs> hey, something funny, love? Nothing. You're being very uni, mm -hmm. but I like that about you. Oi, what's that supposed to mean? They do have cradles in their camp. She would probably understand. I think it's not just a rebirthing thing. <coughs> He's feeling the same as Izzard. Tyon is. They don't want to place the expectations on her of her past life. Your blade. Uh huh. I have the same. Oh, that. That's true. You're the one who taught me. I did? Oh, uh, no. I meant someone who looked like you. Yeah, her. Right. What's wrong? Tyon, you're not making sense. You all came from you're outside, a fucking idiot. didn't you? Yes. What's it like out there? This place is all we know. We're not allowed to leave. It's forbidden, you see. Kimberly, I swear. A world of endless war. People taking each other's lives away. Yes. It's a pitiful place. Still. Even so, I want to go. I need to see it. A world wide open. You'd have to fight, too. But you're not like that, are you? Uh huh? It's a sad world, but you're trying to change it. Am I wrong? Well, uh... If there are people like you in that world... Well then, I'm sure it's wonderful. And that is what I want to see. She has not changed at all. Yeah, it is surprising how few people are actually, like, the common blades. But to be fair, Blade Cest was made legal in, uh, the world of Xenoblade 2. The world of Ballrest, after the events of, of the game. Listen, all I'm saying is that there are multiple canon instances of people banging their blade and popping out kids. Glad you like them. They're nearly in full bloom. 
Absolutely. Four days, and they'll be covering the whole cliffside. Wow. Now that I want to see. Yeah. The chief is over there. Let's go. New allied colony data. There's been changes to colony relations. And are you saying that you wouldn't, Patrick? Because somehow I don't believe you. Zeke doesn't count because he was born human. Just like the image Nimue showed me. How many years has it been since we've caught sight of anyone from the outside? I've never seen people from the outside at all. This is my first time seeing some actual Kavesi people. I thank you, kind outsiders. Though, I'm afraid we will not be leaving this place. But why? There are troops on the way coming to kill you. You don't expect to just beg for your life. Cheek! Since ages past, we have prospered in this land we call home. Even knowing more rages on constantly in the outside world. Huh. If that war is to reach our land, then I'm happy to accept our fate. Or, you could call it our punishment. Punishment? Outsiders. As thanks for assisting Nimue's team, we prepared chambers. However, that is only for tonight. Tomorrow, I would ask you to leave. We must follow the path which fate has set for us. Yeah, honestly, he should stop saying yeah, things like that. Registered. There's a ladder here? Well, there's a ladder here. State of What's up the ladder? Nothing. This was a waste of my time. Fuck you, game. Is this place a crop growing colony? You barely ever see any of these in Kebe. Seems like a nice way to live. It's war. They live in comfort. Yeah. How could they deserve punishment? What's this? I think this was from another mate. Remember the battlefield at Kana? I found it there. Back there? Yeah, when the panic attacks first started. Is Nimue different from before? No, she hasn't changed. Same old Nimue. Well, maybe it's the same with me then. Wait, hang on. Do you reckon the past me was more like her? In what way? Elegant. Graceful, refined. Nah. <laughs> no way. You'll be the same no matter how many times you're reborn. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> She's fucking with you. What I wanted to say was... I don't suppose we could change. But you know... Some things are different sometimes. 
Because this time round, we're all aboard. Things will be different. We're with you, Tyon. You need? <laughs> I didn't expect encouragement from you. Well, you do make a good cuppa. <laughs> Harvest's already just a few months away. That's right. It'll yield plenty of food for us to eat soon enough, so sit tight and relax. I see a fucking container. Hang on. It's behind the chief's building! Ugh. I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it. Oh, that's a nice touch. You can see the light through the tent. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> At this rate, it's going to be up to us. Can we manage? There's plenty of them. No people, though. Maybe we can just let Rip out here, then. I mean, I guess so, but... If we don't, this place is done for. Only one choice left to us. Right. What's that? A wreckage, it looks like. What's up? It's just this for honest. A flame clock. Oh man, and it even works. It's just a flicker, but still. Is it this colony's life force? No, I don't believe so. It's ancient, so it must be a malfunction or something. Remember, the people here aren't part of the flame clock system. You make a good point. I've got it! All of this! It's this thing's fault! What? Huh? What is? It was really bothering me. This place has been safe all this time. Why is Mobius just now taking notice? This is why. For whatever reason, this decrepit Foronis has come back online. Huh. <sighs> That's how they found out. Indeed. After all this time, it's bad luck for the people here. Smash it. Hi, on. Riku, do you know much about Veronises? Silly question. Maintaining Colony 9 Veronis was one of many jobs of Riku. Oh yeah, right. That sure kept you busy. That's perfect. Then could you take a look at this? What for? If it still happens to work, we just might save this place. No, no way. So what if we get it to work? This thing's fighting days are done. It won't have to fight.
were going to play a little trick. A uh, trick? Uh, okay, I'm listening. How is it? Friend was right. Piranus can still move. Drive works barely, but Riku think it will run. Can you repair it? If we find several parts, then possible. How long do you need? Friend telling Riku to hurry? Well, mechanicists of Riku's talents can do this in 30 minutes. Excellent. Can we get our hands on these parts in time? There are lots of Piranus and Levnus wrecks sprinkled about here. Must be something Riku can use. Understood. Start making preparations for repair. Let's split up and search for the parts we need. Sure. We'll handle it. Let's split up so we actually go. We need the three kinds of parts and an ether cylinder. I had two of them in full already. First playthrough me would never have done this because I would not have had the nine ether cylinders though. Although they probably have enough ether channels here to we should harvest this ether. to do it for you. I bet. We need to time this right. Might as well claim this. All right, it's open. We need to time this right. Oh shit. I'm kind of surprised it didn't immediately start attacking. Oh, shut it. Man, I'm pretty sure earlier this stream we were talking about land stripping. Uh, I don't think a crab changing is... I don't think that's gonna be worse. to ascend. Yeah, this is very, uh, very nice splitting up we're doing here. Legacy of the Seven? Some kind of rings. What do they do? Uh, the accessories. Boosts agility by 40%. That's good for dodge tanks, actually. I don't think I'm actually supposed to be going this way, if I'm being honest with you. How do I get there? Oh, 
I found a secret thing, I guess. Alright, you have two minutes to put in a prediction on whether or not I will beat this unique monster on the way back. I will fight it on the way back to town. Ninety percent on no. Wow. Will you be ready for the fight? I don't fucking know. Can y'all fuck off? For two seconds. Hello, big ropal. Not to worry, just stick to the plan. <laughs> Mine, my guy. So at the bottom of chat should be the uh, little icon for channel points for the core crystals. It should be in the menu that pops up if you click that. If it's not, then right under the player, there should be a little prediction icon. Dude, I need you to fuck off. Ugh. Please fuck off. I'm trying to do a thing. This is still somehow the correct way. I don't believe you. How do you, where do you see the sky? Oh, there, you, there, that's where you see the sky. What's so good, what's so nice about the sky right now, Uni? Even if he doesn't chat, Patrick tends to, like, open up his friends' streams if he knows they're going to be streaming.
That too. We're out. Oh, please fuck off. Yeah. Can you link? Can you DM me that on, on Discord, Patrick? If not right now, when you get home. You to get I've gotta keep their attention. Mm, I'm getting aggroed by a lot of things right now. I'll have to see if the one you use works for all browsers. Uh, that's a good point. I think you, you use Opera? Question mark? Yeah, so Kim will, will be able to use it. I would be shocked if there's not a Chrome equivalent, though. Hey, can we like not do this right now? Stupid ruffles. I just want to walk by. I don't want to fight every last one of you. Please fuck off. Oh, that's mean. You just have it close everything because you don't want to see things anymore. I don't always shut my computer down. I probably should more often. But I don't always. Alright, what level is this thing? Please aggro the thing I'm trying to aggro. Please. Alright. Before we fight it, I'm going to run to the bathroom.
Alright, I feel a lot better now. Alright, here we go. Was that a first? That was a first. I'll take all that shit. Thanks. Why do you still have Riku and Manana? Because I slightly rearranged the team to have Riku and Manana. I mean, if nothing else, they have a break art, so, like, it's helping. Because I'm forced to have them for tie on side quest also. That's the other thing. Oh, I'm in evasion tank. That's why I keep getting aggro. Fortunately, since you were so far away, you didn't get any close. But... Oh, oh. You were gonna buy more shit. Okay. Days? Can I get a daze? Here's my daze. Can I have a burst? Nope. Damn. Okay, I... It is simpler than I thought. Raising your uh, interlink level. Somebody smashed him. Okay. 
Hey, can I have a heal? Okay, no. Fuck that. We're, we're doing this now. I'm not risking it. I don't like this open. Should really do somebody with a topple, right? It's fine. That was awkward, but it's fine. That is intentional. Right. Goddamn, Tyon does so much damage. Like I said, this chain attack is very awkward. But I'm I'm making it work. How about something like this? I knew that was gonna happen. This should be our plan of attack. Mm. Alright, we still got an overkill. Look at them numbers, baby. <laughs> Such a small chain attack, too. That's the wild thing. Alright. Now that I beat the guy. Kim, enjoy your points. Hundred twenty five extra points for you. You know, if you would bet more, you're going to fight, you would get more because Patrick uh, would also bet oh, more. Where, um, Tyon. I want to fight too. No way. I'm not letting you get mixed up in all this. So you really are going to fight? Yeah, <sighs> get fucked. Could... Get hurt. <gasps> if someone dies, I couldn't take it. Sitting here pretending none of that is happening. I understand our chief's feelings. It's thanks to her that we've lived in peace this long. But there's a war going on in the outside world. There are many who don't want to see it or wish it wasn't happening to them. Yet, you've come to us following your own path. And that is real. It's how the world really is. Nimue. Please. All right. 
I'll allow you to watch us while we're fighting. But under one condition. That is? When we first came here, it was like an awakening. There are still beautiful places like this in the world. We have to keep this place safe. That's what we're fighting for. Once you've seen how we do things, promise me that you'll protect this place. That fight belongs to you. My own fight? Yes. You have a deal, Tyon. I'll watch all of you. How you fight. I'll burn it into here. I'm assuming she was like meant to be like pointing at her heart or something. Riku done. Time to light fire. It worked! Hey, hey! Was it meant to float away? Yes, it was. Huh? Riku, did you input the coordinates? Of course! Riku fed Piranus numbers just as directed. What's going on? We've made ourselves a new. A new. I love it. Now I get it. That thing is gonna lure in the Mobius and beat it up. Now they know about this place because of that thing's flame clock. As such, Mobius are probably watching out for that Veronis. So we'll make the Mobius think that the Veronis sense their approach, and then it's going to attack. Honestly. I would give it about 50-50. Let's hope this particular Mobius is a complete fool. Anyone remember P? <laughs> and then we can all swoop in and rinse this mudder. Gotta love a nice and simple plan. What happens after we beat them? Won't they end up coming back? As long as the Foranis is there? I haven't forgotten about that. I've got a little something in mind. Thank you, Tyon. Between us, we'll make it work for sure. And keep the Sophronia safe. I forgot the regular screenshot button was a thing. So I tried making tea from Sophronia blossoms. Wow, that sounds like it'd be a very pretty color. You must let me have a sip next time. Well, yeah. What about Alvis? Is it go time? This guy really is an idiot. While those Foronises are busy fighting, we'll move in from behind. 
We'll hit them where it'll hurt them the most. A console. Got it. And then from there, smash the flame clock, right? Well, let's go beat some Get away from the Veronis. The plan requires a circle behind the Mobius to defeat him. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, mate. Turns out you had a bit of a brain fart. Nice one. Oh. Ah! Impossible. Could I really have been fooled by these peons? My my decal? Ridiculous. Not a chance. This just isn't happening. That actually wasn't bad. At least as far as Lance is concerned. Promise us you'll turn around and go back the way you came, and we will let you go. Give a message to your masters, if you even have any. Tell them exactly how you fell into our trap. What? You think I'm some lonely errand boy? Stop your messages. I'm all about the screaming. And I will enjoy no. you before the day is through. That's why I am moving. Why are they all so gross? I will never turn back. I will fill this body with the echoes of your dying screams! Ooh, 56! Yeah, v here is not that terrible. Oh, Tyon's dying. Come on, now. You're dealing with me. Yeah. But either way, it's a lot more than most of the enemies in this area. Dude, he's like instantly healing most of the damage that he's doing to himself because I'm in the arts heal circle. I did say most. Why are we not level 3? I hate the fact that they got the days as I was trying to do my launch combo.
Who died? Camera. Oh. What's going on here? Why did how did you die? Okay. Okay. Uh here. Good shit. We're back. How long was camera dead? Sometime after you were talking about Elvis before you said something. So cool. That feels like a bit. Let's try this again, shall we? So while I have this in my mind, let me do this real quick. Sorry, does Noah have Lucky 7 out? He does. I see. He's a healer. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to this. That's a lot of damage. Good. That really does not do much damage. Can I? All right.
That. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Fuck. Oh well. I should have done the healers first. I didn't realize Tyon was gonna fucking do that much. Fine, I got an overkill anyway. I usually do the healers last. I should probably do them first. What's he saying sorry for, creep? Okay, now regroup. Understanding. He's gonna self-destruct and take the big Varanus with him. What did you guys take cover? <laughs> we die together. Want to know? So now, will it take long? It did shout to take half a day. Then I'll pass. Well, whatever the snap happened, it all went down a treat. If I was a Mobius, I'd at least try to check the situation before going all in. Seriously, what a total dingus. Anyway, we got the best possible outcome. Amazing. Tyon, I saw everything. The way you fought. Do you spend every day battling like this? Uh, unfortunately. Gladly, yes. Huh? We need the people of your colony to protect this place. It's true. There are times when our fight takes a toll on us, but we carry on that fight because we have a mission. A mission? The foe we fought today, Mobius, who made this world the way it is, we have to take it back from them. We have to make a new world, one without fighting, where you won't have to hide away in fear. Tyon. But... Sometimes we do need rest, to forget fighting for a time. This place could be our refuge. I understand. Then we'll protect this land, so that whenever you grow tired of your fight, you can return here to rest. Thank you. Huh? If we manage to win, there's someone I want you to meet. Someday. Be awkward to introduce her to Ezer, though, Dion. You gotta think that through. Taking on Ezard's request, Ion and the party protected Nimue's home colony from Moby. And with that, I am pretty sure we have done all of the main party's quests. Except for Noah's. Mio, Senna, Uni, Lands, Ion. Yep, that's five of the six. It's really stupid that the re there is a required hero for Tyons. Okay, never mind. There is for Senna's as well. Still. 
Why are there for some of them and not others? It's so stupid. Anyway. I'm gonna call it here. Next time, um... I don't even know what we're gonna do. The required ones are more involved. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. Whatever. Thank you all for watching. Thank you again, Kim, for that uh, care package. I love it so much. See you guys at the next one, which, if things go well, will probably be Thursday. Probably. Most of the time.